Hello to the nation. Our PlayStation Nation here talk to you guys over some technology news, a little bit different than what I would talk about on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this is this has less to do with kind of hot news, leaked news, gaming-related news, and uh, more to kind of do with uh, stuff that's interesting to me. I was personally fascinated by this, and hopefully. Um, uh, even though you guys are a large gaming uh, related audience and usually when I pick my stories it caters to a gaming related audience and uh, hopefully you guys will kind of enjoy this. I think probably a smaller a smaller amount of you guys will like this news as much as me but you'll probably like it a lot more than if I were to talk about Black Ops 2 or some other uh, gaming related news. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video but let's kind of get started talking. So today we're going to be talking about a new product that was just announced called The Leap Guys. I know you might have heard it from other sources and whatnot because it did get released yesterday. Sadly, I heard about it at like 9 o'clock or something, so I didn't end up being able to make a video about it. But something that was ex like right off the bat super interesting to me. Super interesting seeing a, a motion uh, sensor sort of thing that is as accurate as it is and gives as much functionality as it does for a relatively cheap price, around $70, which is currently being uh, pre ordered for. But um, getting more into it, some of the specs that are related to it is it's it's uh, claiming that it's up to 200 times more accurate than any of the products on today's market. Um, so, like stuff like the Kinect, it's literally not 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 any figure of figment of speech, but it's literally 200 times as accurate as the Kinect. This is something that's going to blow all of the current technology out of the water, and something that's really going to change up the game as far as computer interaction methods. Uh, no longer are people going to be like, "Oh, I'm getting a touch screen like." freaking HP, they're going to be using something like this, something that's extremely cheap and cost effective, frankly, but anyway, getting back to the whole point of it, even though, so it has all these great features, and as far as its interaction, how it's going to be utilized as far as programs are, the main purpose of the entire invention of this product was to be with 3D modeling. So as of recent, uh, with the, or as of the past, with anything to do with 3D modeling, you needed to uh, either have like your mouse and keyboard and really have to bear using those because if you guys have done any 3D modeling it can get extremely clunky using a mouse to pan a camera or zoom a camera in and out or uh, rotate a camera around an object or something like that. It can get extremely clunky using that and when you have those, they make specifically designed mouses for 3D modeling with like trackballs and whatnot that you can spin and use that to rotate your camera and even those, uh, though they are extremely expensive, they're still not something that's a great medium to control a 3D modeling software. But something like this, even though it's $70 cheaper than most 3D modeling mouses out there, and it has like unlimited possibilities as far as what you can do with it. Um, it, it completely re will revolutionize how we search, how we surf, how we do whatever we do on the computers. Uh, implementation and stuff like Cinema 4D would change up how we do 3D modeling. Implementation in uh, software from Adobe like After Effects who also has 3D cameras and whatnot, 3D objects that you can use to uh, manipulate this with, stuff like Photoshop. Lots of you guys Photoshop. Uh, it's extremely interesting to see that um, we would be able to reach up and select the items that we want to use, the objects that we want to manipulate, be able to zoom them in, zoom them out, pan them, uh, move them around the, the stage, and just be able to manipulate our entire experience with the touch of our hands. It's something extremely interesting just to think about, and the simple fact that when you think back to it, uh, interface objects or interface accessories such as like a keyboard, like the simple QWERTY keyboard, has not been, uh, it hasn't evolved in hundreds of years. Uh, since before electricity, the QWERTY keyboard is the exact same. The keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard, or the QWERTY layout, was specifically designed to be inefficient. And even though we have come to the age of computers, and our whole the whole idea of computers is to be as efficient as possible, we have yet to change the keyboard layout, which is just further proof that we need to evolve as far as our computer interfaces. And uh, this is extremely interesting to see, it's extremely exciting for someone like me to see, and I know I wasn't speaking the most coherently in this video, but it's extremely interesting. And for lots of you guys out there who really love pointing out that I do love hand gestures, guys, um, this is going to be something that I'm really going to like, though I'm not going to pre-order it, I am going to wait until the product actually comes out uh, and see what pro programs are supported on it at launch and from there 
I will probably buy it if it's supported by stuff like Cinema 4D Photoshop and even just for everyday surfing I would love to just go, be able to go like this, scroll up and down a page, zoom in, zoom out, uh, different stuff like that. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully you guys did uh, learn something new. You guys, you can go check out the link in the description to the minute and a half trailer. You guys really can't understand what I'm talking about until you see this thing in action. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys remember to rate the video if you guys did enjoy it. Remember to subscribe to join the nation. And yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Peace.